Hey everybody, Gary here. Welcome back to No Nonsense. I got my partner here, uh, Mr. Freddie Frags. What's going on, everybody? Thanks for coming over, my man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Pleasure to be here at Casa No Nonsense. Yes, sir. Um, pardon the, the way we have everything set up. We're shooting in a couple different rooms, so we're trying to. I'm actually trying to find out what works best, and I didn't like where we were when I was shooting in my dining room, so we're just... Bear with me um, in the meantime. But... Uh, we're here to bring you guys another review, and we're a little late to the party with this one. A little tardy, tardy to the party. Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, better late than never. Fragrance we're going to go over is from the House of Creed, and it is Creed Viking. Viking! One to uh, I just sprayed note. it on literally uh, a take ago. I but, can smell it. But um, the notes are top notes: pink pepper, uh, bergamot, and lemon. Mm -hmm. uh, mid notes are pink pepper, rose, and spicy mint. The base notes are sandalwood, Haitian vetiver, patchouli, and lavender. And the uh. you guys all know that story behind they, what they built it on uh which i'm we're not going to get into it's i uh this was released in 2017 and it was hyped for a long time anticipation um the release after the king um yeah actually this was the mm -hmm. the newest after event this right yeah uh well the the newest creed i think in the normal line, right? Because then they have like those, like the Asian green tea and mm. like that. That's a this is a separate line. But yes. I think this is the first release straight out like of their main of, of the main line yeah. of the gentleman's line or whatever they call it. Uh, on the initial blast, I I do get um I get a actually I get a heavy dose of mint yeah. in, in the opening, and I really really I genuinely like the opening. And then it takes a turn, and the turn for me is not very good. It um, it dries down to a very, I want to say a very mature, uh, Fougier barber barbershoppy type of vibe, and it is it's, it, honestly, it's not something, it's not something I I would wear. It it doesn't smell bad, yeah, um, but it's 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 not something that's in my wheelhouse. I agree with practically everything mm -hmm. you said. Um, you know, I know we don't always see eye to eye, mm. but for this, um, I don't, I don't like any part of it um, besides the mint. The mint is awesome. I even have like a mentholy vibe in my mouth right now. Um, it does smell like mint, citrus, and woods. That's what I get out of it. Uh, it smells like a well put together older gentleman. Not, I'm I'm 41, and I think this is even for someone older than I am. You're old enough, pretty good for 41. Well, I appreciate it. Um, mm. That's not what the doctor just told me, but <laughs> you know, uh, I guess my outside from here up <laughs> is doing all right. But um, yeah, I mean. I think this is something that a mature, older man, maybe a granddad or an older yeah. It, by by no off. by no means is this a bad smell. You're waving your hand around, and I'm getting whiffs of it, and it's something just triggered in my head. Yeah. Um, don't ever do that again. <laughs> it's bad. Um, do you know what I'm getting? What? It's almost. It's like a refined barbasol shaving cream. Type. I can of get that. Um, with mint in it. Right, because I mean, I, just I'm not picking up mint as you wait around. Uh, and the initial I mean, spray, I, I get the mint, but as you're spraying it around, I just get like this overly soapy. Not, and it's not in a bad way, but it's like that barbers, the cheap cans of barbers oil that you spray. I'm getting that soapy vibe with it. Definitely more refined than anything barbers, yeah. you know, than one of those. I mean, I think I'm picking up shaving creams, it, but I think I'm picking up on the mint. Because that's the only part I like. So maybe my, maybe my nose is concentrating on it. But, you know, overall, 
it's in a good smelling older man fragrance. That's all I. That's all. That's that. My it's, that's as far as my opinion goes. I smell it and I get mature. Yeah. That's that's what I get. Um, your father, your grandfather. Um, they're going to sm if they wear this, they're going to smell fantastic. Um, I sm I I get like a professor or someone to that. Like if it's a sporty older man, like mm. wears jeans and a tee, and this may not be the right one for him. Um, you know, someone with like a young um, personality. Yeah. It may not be fair. I, I I picture somebody that's certain their ways and they're a little older and mature. Maybe I don't want to say educated because you can be sporty and and fun and be educated, but I, you know, like a librarian or somebody to that effect. Yeah, this is what I yeah. get. Um, a professional. This is just. I mean, it, it's it's a pass. It's for me. This is a pass. It's a pass for me too. Um, and I don't think that. And I'm my, not. I'm not yeah. here to slight it because it doesn't. It doesn't smell bad. I know Gary doesn't typically rate much no. his fragrance in numbers. I do. I would give this a four and a half out of five. And and I you would I, give it, it a four and a half out of five. I mean a four and a half five out of ten. I'm oh, sorry. okay. I'm sorry. So okay. it's about fifty fifty. Um, and I even think like scent would be maybe a six six and a half. But if you take the whole scent as a combo, like the everything that takes into it. And the demographic for it and everything, I, I, you know, it has to come down because yeah. not too many people will wear this and not saying it won't smell good, but pull it off and be like, that scent matches you. You know what I mean? It's, it's basically, if their target audience was an older man, a uh, professional older man, they hit it right out of yeah. the nose. Um, but for everybody else, I think it's something that you can overlook and keep going. I agree. Uh, longevity, Siage, uh, projection is actually very good with this. Um, you'll get a solid eight, maybe 10 hours out of this and you will pick up the scent throughout the day. Um, I really don't go nose fatigue, you know, off of this. I mean, but again, I, I don't want to smell like this for I, two hours. Yeah, I don't, I nine, don't want to smell like this, but ten. smelling it here now, like it's not overpowering. It has a nice aura, but it's not something I would want to wear. No. Yeah. So, I mean, I can't add anything else. This is my first no. impression. And it, like I said, again, I'm not hating on it. It's it just, it doesn't work for me. There's a lot of people out there that, that really like this. And actually, you know what? From the vibe I get from other people, it's either you're, it's you're on one side of the fence with this or you're on the other. It's not like, oh, I can wear this sometime. Either some people are like, yeah, this is really good. And some people are like, mm. I, I'm on the, I happen mm -hmm. to fall on the same side of the fence as you. Uh you know, comment down below and let us know your thoughts. Yeah, let, let yeah. us know what you think. You know, maybe even if it's, if you disagree with us, as long as it's respectful, yeah. you know, keep it coming. You know, we're, we're not masters and our opinion shouldn't be yours. You know? No. And my opinion shouldn't be his. No. Never. So, you know. When we normally don't have yeah. the same opinion. Well, I mean, we, just, we, but, have uh, a, we have a similar There's uh, There's choices. certain things we do like. That we like, but you know, for the uh, most part, we don't. We never hit bullseye eye to eye. No, but you know, we we actually see eye to eye on this. We're one, yeah. a, this yeah. is a bullseye first. Yeah. We, yeah. yeah. So. Oh well. It's been a pleasure as always, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Click on that notification bell, and we will see you guys soon with another review. Peace. Take care.